It's a bizarre accident. A retired Cincinnati teacher is killed by a falling tree in Bond Hill without warning, crushing her car. Tonight, everyone who knew Jacqueline Carr is remembering how special she was and how much she did for others. The tree that killed Carr in Bond Hill had been marked with an X. You see it there. It was meant for removal months ago. Today, Cincinnati City officials are explaining why it hadn't been taken down. Good evening. Nine on your side's Julie O'Neill spoke with Carr's family today. Julie. Carol, I'm here on Reading Road at Berkeley. Uh, very busy tonight at the scene of this horrible accident. You see behind me the cross where the tree once stood with flowers around it, uh, where Jackie Carr's life ended so tragically. What remains is a large hole on the side of the road where a tree once stood and a hole in a mother's heart that her only daughter filled. No, she didn't get a chance to do you saw her touch. Beatrice Jenkins surrounded by family in her Springfield Township living room. Everyone weighing in on how everyone admired 65-year-old Jackie Carr. She was always willing to help somebody. Chuck Jenkins says his big sister poured her heart into her students. 30 years with Cincinnati Public, teaching music, touching lives. A lot of them ended up going on to college, graduating from college, and still would come back to town and thank her for what she did and how she turned their lives around. Carr grew up loving music, always leading the choir. She was headed back to church Sunday when this tree came crashing down on her. No one is losing faith in God. No one is questioning God. But the family does want some answers as to how this happened. I think Cincinnati has really lost a lot. Now we've been on your side getting answers about this tree. Um, and what we're told is that it was marked to be taken down, but it did not pose an imminent danger. I do have more details from the city manager coming up tonight at 6. Live in Bond Hill, I'm Julie O'Neill. We'll send it back to you.